hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in ASP.NET with the help of drop down list control how to create the search functionality to display data from MySQL PHP my admin database and here we got the final results I'm selecting the employee names Peter search records and here we got the Peter record in a grid view control VJ search records and here we got a VJ record in a grid view control from MySQL PHP my admin. See here the VJ record employee ID 3 VJ VJ Kumar VJ at gmail.com. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new ASP.NET web application. Go to File, New, Project. I am selecting ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework I am using 4.6.1. The application name is drop down list search MySQL. Click OK. And from the templates, I am choosing MT. Click OK. And here the project is successfully created. Open Solution Explorer. I'm adding a new web form to this project. I click the project name. Add new item. I'm choosing web form. The web form name is search MySQL drop down list. Add. And here we got the source page of the newly created search mysql data dll.aspx page. Now between the form and due tag, I'm adding the center tag h1 search search functionality with drop down list from my PHP, PHP my admin database horizontal line after the horizontal line I am adding three controls one is the drop down list control and the second one is a button control and the third one is a grid view control to display the records go to toolbox drop down list control button control I'm changing the button text search records horizontal line after the horizontal line I'm adding a grid view control go to toolbox come to the bottom I'm expanding the data folder. In this data folder, we have a grid view control. Just double click that one. That's it. We have done the designing part. Switch to the design mode. Double click the button control. And here we got the button click event. Now, in this code behind, the first thing I'm adding the namespaces using system.data using system dot configuration the last namespace I'm adding the MySQL DLL library but the MySQL DLL library is not available we need to add that we need to add the MySQL dot data DLL library into our references project folder open solution explorer I'm expanding the references and notice here in this references folder there is no any mysql dll library let's add right click the references folder manage nudget packages browse in the search type mysql enter and from the search results we got the mysql.data click that one install 
okay i accept and here we got the successful message installed successfully into our project let's close this window switch to the code behind let's add the dll library of mysql using mysql dot data dot mysql client after adding these three namespaces now my next step is i'm adding my data source mysql connection string in the web.config file open solution explorer again i'm minimizing the references folder the bottom there is a web.config file open that one now in a, inside the configuration i'm adding connection strings add name is equals to i'm giving my connection string name is my sql connection connection string now in this connection string i'm adding my sql data source connection string properties data source is equals to first one is a local host semicolon the port number second property to find out the port number of php my admin in my sql php my admin notice here the top double three zero six is a port number let's add that one semicolon the next parameter is the initial catalog the initial catalog is we need to add the database name my database name is a sample db let's add that one semicolon user id root which is a which is a default username and the password the password section i'm leaving blank because i don't have any password to log into my sql php my admin if you have any password please enter that one and the last one is very important ssl mode is equals to none if you don't add this property it'll face an error so please add this ssl mode is equals to none after adding the connection string in the web.config file switch to the code behind again now in the page load event the first condition i want to bind the column name into the drop down list control so before writing the coding part let's check my table and the column names this is a table the employee table contains four columns employee id first name last name email id i want to bind the first name into the drop down list control so let's bind the first name column into the drop down list control string main com is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes i'm adding the connection string name which is my sql connection copy this one this year dot connection string my sql connection my sql con is equals to new my sql connection I'm adding main con object into this main connection SQL connection string SQL query is equals to here in the SQL query I'm adding the select statement select start from the table name is a employee table copy this one and paste here after adding the employee table my sql command sql com is equals to new my sql command which takes two parameters the first parameter is the command text which is a sql query comma the second one is a connection object my connection object is a my sql con i'm adding that one let's open the connection string sql con dot open method my sql data adapter my 
SDA is an object name, new MySQL data adapter. I'm adding SQL command object, MySQL command object. Data table, DT is equals to new data table. SD dot fill method. I'm filling the data with the data table object. Now I'm binding the data source in the drop down list control. Drop down list one dot data source is equals to DT. Drop down list one dot data text field is equals to. Now between these double quotes, I'm adding the column name from the employee table. The column name, I want to bind the first name. First name, drop down list one dot, data value field is equals to, the value field I'm adding, the value field I'm adding EMP ID, Now let's bind the data into a drop down list control. Drop down list one dot data bind method. The final one, I have to close the connection string. Close method. That's it, we have finished our first step. The binding the first name column from employee table into a drop down list control. Let's check the results. Google Chrome. And here we got the output of that code and notice the employee first name column is bounded into this drop down list control. Now my next step is when I select any of the particular employees for example Samantha when I click search record button I want to display the employee details of the Samantha into a grid view control. So let's finish the rest of the code and stop debugging. Now in the page load event, I'm adding if not page dot is post back. I'm closing these curly braces after the MySQL connection close method. Now in the button click event, instead of writing the whole code, I'm just copying this part. Paste here. I'm changing the select query, select star from employee with first name like plus plus. Now between this plus plus, I am adding the drop down list controls. And because we are searching from the drop down list control, drop down list one dot selector item dot text. Now after the fill data, I'm adding grid view control. Grid view one dot data source is equals to DT. Grid view one dot data bind method. Let's close the connection string. My SQL con dot close method. That's it. We have done the complete coding part. Let's check the results, Google Chrome. And here we got the final results. I'm selecting the employee names, Peter, search records. And here we got the Peter record in a grid view control. Vijay, search records. And here we got a Vijay record in a grid view control from MySQL PHP my admin. See here the Vijay record. Employee ID 3, Vijay Vijay Kumar, Vijay at gmail.com. That's it.